this video, I'd like to show how we can configure the, the communications from FactorTalk Optics to a Logix controller. Now, in some previous videos that I had built, I was using FactorTalk Logix Echo, which is the emulator for an L8 uh, Control Logix CPU. And in, in those examples, I just, when I gave it a route or an IP address, all I did was give it the IP address of the Logix Echo controller, which happened to be the loopback IP address which was 127.0.0.1. But it turns out that I'm, if I'm going to connect optics to a real physical controller, be it a control logics or a compact logics, well, that route might actually vary. If, if we're going to access a, a compact logics or a control logic CPU that has the embedded ethernet port in the CPU, then our route will simply be just the IP address of that CPU. For instance, the L8 Control Logic CPUs or the 5580 CPUs has an embedded Ethernet port. So if I was going to connect through that embedded Ethernet port, my route would simply be the IP address of that port. The Compact Logics, be it a 5370 L7 or a 5380 L8 CPU, has an embedded Ethernet port. So the route is simply the IP address of the controller. But if I'm going to connect to a control logics through an ethernet module, such as the 1756-EN2T or EN2TR, well then my route actually has to change slightly. I have to give it a little extra information uh, to basically get it to bridge through the ethernet module and then to the CPU itself. So let me try to demonstrate this for you. Um, so I got a, uh, I got a kind of a blank optics project created and I'm going to go to the wizard and say configure communications to devices. And I actually have two CPUs uh, that I'm connected to right now. One is a control logics through an EN2T module and one is a compact logics, a 5370 uh, L24 CPU. So I'm going to do the compact logics first. Let's just show you that it's simply type in the IP address. And that's all we got to do. So I'm going to say a uh, new communication or new station. It's going to be an RA Ethernet IP station. I'm going to hit next. Now for the route, I'm going to simply type in the IP address of that compact logics. Again, I, it's, I'm connecting to an L24 compact logics CPU. I'll hit next. I'm going to rename it to uh, L24 CPU and I will choose next. Now I have two options to do my tags, import, you know, importing my tags. I can do offline, which I can point to the ACD file, or I can do online. And to prove that the, the route is done properly here, I'd like to do online. So I chose online. It was able to go onto the network and connect to the controller and see the tags that are inside of it. So prior to starting this video, I'd made a few simple tags here, test one, two, three, and four, as well as the local um, IO tags that are already created there. So basically, simply type it in that route. I was able to uh, find those tags um, with just giving it the IP address. I can, I can choose kind of select all and say next. If I come over here to communication drivers or comm drivers, RA Ethernet, L24, tags, controller tags, and there they are. Now, I'm going to do the same thing, but for the control logics. So for my control logic example, again, I have a 1756EN2T module in the, in the chassis, as well as a CPU in the chassis. Now, the CPU is currently in slot 0. And the Ethernet module is currently in slot one. So I'm gonna um, I'm gonna right click here on Ethernet IP driver one, and I'm gonna say new station. And this time I didn't do the wizard; I just built it here. So when I go new station, we can see that uh, we we entered a new station here. I want to go ahead and rename this to Control Logics just so we'll distinguish. 
And if I expand here, we'll see there's tags and types and tag importer, but I have not given it a route yet. So I need to give it a route. So I'm going to kind of stretch this out a little bit. So for the route, if I'm going to bridge through an Ethernet module, then the route is going to be the IP address, which is 10.10.1.11, then a backslash. And then I'm going to type back plane, back plane, slash, and then the slot that the CPU is currently located in, which is in my case is slot zero. I'm going to hit enter. Now, again, if I'm bridging through an Ethernet module to get to the CPU, if I just gave it the IP address without the backslash backplane backslash zero or the slot, then it's not going to connect. It's not going to find the tags. It's not going to allow you to import. So this route, this syntax is very important when we're bridging through an Ethernet module. So being that I didn't do the wizard, now that I have uh, my route created, I can, oh, I can double click on this tag importer, which is underneath the control objects. And this will give me my ability to say offline or online. So I'm gonna choose online. When I go online, it's going to go out on the network and it actually was able to make the connection through the ethernet module and to the CPU to get all the tags. So there are, these are all the tags that were currently in my control objects. CPU, so a bit more than what I had in my Compact Logix demo. I will choose all and apply. So now we can see that uh, underneath my control objects, my tags, all the tags imported, as well as my Compact Logix, all my tags are imported there as well. So a few other notes uh, about connecting to a Logix controller. Uh, one, you do have to be at version 32 firmware or higher in order for optics to work with the Logix controller. So the RA Ethernet IP driver will support Logix controllers that have firmware version 32 or higher. Also, if you are trying to bridge through an Ethernet module in a control Logix chassis, um, the ENET, the ENBT, and the eWeb modules, which are all older um, control Logix Ethernet modules, are not supported. So we are going to use our newer Ethernet modules, such as the EN2T, the EN2TR, or the EN4T, the EN4TR. Those will be supported for optics. So again, version 32, and we want to make sure we have one of the newer Ethernet modules as well. If we're using the L8 CPU again, the 5580, such as like a 1756-L81E, then we can, of course, directly connect into the embedded Ethernet port of the CPU if we choose. And it, again, if we were to use the embedded Ethernet port, we do not need to put the backslash backplane backslash uh, slot. We could just put the IP address as the route. There is a knowledge base article on Rockwell's website, which is open and available to everyone. I'll put a link to that here in the video, which kind of uh, explains everything that I've just kind of talked about and demonstrated in this video.